Hello and welcome to our composites demonstration. Um, so due to COVID-19, we're going to be doing this uh, uh, remotely, obviously. Um, but okay, what are composites? You might be wondering why are they important uh, and why are we going to be doing a demonstration on them? So basically composites, um, effectively you have a matrix and a fiber, okay? So the matrix is some sort of a glue agent, effectively, and the fiber is a sort of woven, typically fabric sort of thing that has uh, strength along the fiber direction. Um, and then uh, you have a uh, the matrix which you apply to the fiber. Okay, so usually this is this comes in with a liquid as a liquid and then hardens later. Um, so effectively, you have uh, a uh, a solid mixture of both uh, matrix, which is again the glue, and, and the fiber, okay? Um, so, uh, on this car, we make a multitude of parts out of carbon fiber. Um, basically, a lot of what you see uh, directly on the surface of the car is carbon fiber. The steering wheel is carbon fiber. The seat is carbon fiber. Um, the side pods, that's these things over here, they're carbon fiber. The nose cone is carbon fiber. Um, as well as a multitude of other smaller components. Um, so, when we make carbon fiber, we effectively, well first we start with a design file on uh, SOLIDWORKS, which is a computer-aided design software. Um, then you uh, would machine it out of foam, okay? And then that foam piece uh, you then use to make a fiberglass plug, or sorry, fiberglass mold like one of these. Um, so effectively, this is the surface that we will put our carbon fiber on. So this black stuff is carbon fiber. Um, this is a seat. So as you can see here, we have cut holes for seat belts. We've cut holes for mounting it. Uh, and we've cut holes here to, uh, you know, get pieces of uh, the firewall out of the, way of, the, uh, out of the way of the seat. So effectively, as you can see here, uh, this was put, placed on the mold like this. Um, so all these, all this carbon fiber was a soft, flexible fabric at first. So effectively, we laid down uh, the seat layer, at, layer by layer and applied the resin to it in a uh, liquid form, okay? We then vacuum bag the surface. We won't get the vacuum bag this time. A lot of your houses probably don't have uh, vacuum bagging capabilities. Um, so uh, we'll have to do it a slightly different way. Um, but anyway, so this would be vacuum bagged, which would, which adheres the surface very closely to uh, the, the shape of the mold, um, which is very helpful. So effectively, when you pop it off, you have a seat with the internal surface here as shiny as the surface of the mold. Um, so yeah, effectively, uh, a lot of the parts on this car were made using this method. Um, we are going to make a flat panel, which is a lot simpler. So basically, we don't have the preliminary steps of making the mold, we are simply going to use a piece of aluminum uh, for a flat panel mold, and we're gonna get a flat panel piece of carbon. Um, flat panel pieces of carbon are very useful. Um, the steering wheel in the car, I'll bring it up here so it, you can see it a little bit closer. But as you can see, um, this is one flat panel piece of carbon fiber. Uh, it's about 20 layers thick. We're gonna be making a two layer thick piece of carbon fiber. Um, Unfortunately, uh, it would be kind of expensive to send each individual uh, more than, say, two layers like that. Um, so we'll have to bear with you'll have to bear with us on that. But um, should be a good proof of concept, and then afterwards you can cut them into pretty much any shape you want. Um, so yeah, we'll continue with the demonstrations. 